Alright, so in the previous video we looked at concave up and concave down and we looked at two definitions for that, but they were pretty loose definitions. We're going to look at a much more useful definition that's going to allow us to do some pretty neat stuff with it. Going from least formal to most formal, our least formal definition of concave up was a concave up bowl and a concave down bowl. Concave ups can hold water, concave downs cannot. And then we moved up a notch and we said concave up all the tangents are below the graph and concave down all of the tangents are above the graph. Now we're going to jump, we're going to look at this graph on uh, GeoGebra and see exactly what's happening during the concave down phase and the concave up phases. Now this is our exact same graph just stretched out slightly but it's the same function and this portion here uh, is concave down. You can imagine all of the tangents would be above and then we get to this section and then concave up all of the tangents would be below and then from this section concave down all of the tangents would be above. Let's look at those tangents. I've got a nice little blue dot here and I'm going to draw a tangent at that little blue dot. There's my nice little tangent and you can see in the concave down portion the tangent is above the curve and now the tangent tangent is below the curve and now the tangent is above the curve again but there's something even more special about that tangent as it moves from left to right as it moves from left to right something special is happening to that tangent in each portion the special thing has to do with the gradient of that tangent here is our gradient of our tangent. Now it's currently 89.96. Watch what happens to that number as I move through the concave down portion. 80, 70, 62, 47, 34, 29, 24, 19, 16, 12, 9, 7, 3, 2, 1, and 0 when we get to there. So what's happening to that tangent? It went from 137 there to 80 to 70 to 30 to 20 to 10 and to 0 the tangent of our um, the sorry the gradient of our tangent is decreasing as we move across you can probably imagine what happens in the concave up phase at the moment we're right in the middle between concave down and concave up as I move forward we go 0 0.12 0 1.6 2.5 8, 9.2, 12.5, 14, 15, until we get to this point, 16. The gradient of our tangent is increasing as we move from left to right in the concave up phase. And then this one feels confusing because you can see the graph going up and then you can see the graph going down. But I don't care about what the graph's doing. I don't care that the graph's going up and down. What I care about is the gradient the gradient is 16. Now it's 15, 14, 13, 8, 0. What's happened from there to there is it's decreased from 16 down to 0 and then it continues decreasing. I know the number's getting bigger, the magnitude, but negative 13, um, negative 24, negative 31, those numbers are decreasing. Now it's time to pick that graph up, bring it back over here and put our much more formal and much more useful definitions of concave down and concave up. There's our first definition, concave down. As the value of x increases, the gradient decreases. The value of x increases, that just means as we move from left to right, the gradient decreases. Now it is very tempting to say that as the value of x increases, um, it becomes less steep, and I guess that's true here, but this is also concave down. And you can imagine if this was a roller coaster, it would be getting scarier and scarier. It's getting steeper and steeper, it's getting, but it's getting more negative. The gradient is still decreasing. That gradient is becoming less negative a thousand, negative ten thousand, negative a million. Of course, that brings us to concave up. As the value of x increases as we move from left to right, the gradient increases. The number value of the gradient gets larger. 
Um, now, in terms of like remembering concave down, concave up, the gradient decreases, the gradient's going down in concave down. In concave up, as the value of x increases, the gradient goes up, the gradient increases. That's it. Now we have three definitions of concave up and concave down. Uh, this one is going to become incredibly useful when we start looking at something called the second derivative.